Hello everyone, my name is Ayush and I'm a strategy backtest executive at Breakout Investing and today I want to showcase one of our newest strategies that is our breakout swing trading strategy. I'm going to show you how the strategy works. I am going to show you, you know, what it looks for, what are, what the rules are and I'm also going to show you uh, what you can achieve with it, right? The profit or the results that you can get. So let's just get straight into it. Let's just go to the chart. But before we actually look at the candles, uh, our strategy is a breakout swing trading strategy, right? And for that, we first must identify uh, a breakout candle. And first to identify a breakout candle, uh, the strategy looks for three rules that must be satisfied. So those three rules are that the candle close must be greater than the candle open, which means it must be a green candle. Secondly, we have that the candle close must be above the breakout indicator line. And lastly, we have that the close of the previous three candles must be below their respective breakout indicator line. Uh, so what does this mean? Let's just go on the chart here and uh, look at an example. Over here, you can see on the 23rd of April, we have actually had a green candle that's closed above the breakout indicator line, which is this yellow line, which is the breakout indicator by couple Mithil, which you guys can also purchase from us. Uh, but anyways, you can see that we've closed above uh, the breakout indicator here and the close of the previous three candles is also lower than their respective breakout levels, right? So once the breakout candle is identified, we don't actually go and immediately take a trade. Our algo or our strategy first calculates four levels, which are the high of the candle, the low of the candle. Then we have the closing plus the length of the candle and the low minus the length of the candle. So once the breakout candle is identified, uh, these levels are calculated and what exactly are these levels, right? So we have the high level, then we have the target level, then this is the trigger level, and finally we have the SL level. Okay, so what are these levels? What do they mean? So once the breakout candle is identified, the price must first go and touch the high level and then come back down to the trigger level from where a trade is actually triggered and we are in a position, we are in a trade and we are looking to either take a profit on this target level or book a loss at this SL level. So what's happened here, you can see here that um, we have broken out and after that the levels were calculated and then after a few days or a few weeks we went and touched our high level and just yesterday we actually came and touched our trigger level from where we took a trade and from where we made a position and already you can see that today we are on course of making a profit uh, which is good and uh, if not we would have waited for the price to reach this SL level here you can see that once this trade actually gets completed we are aiming at a profit of roughly 8% which is amazing we are already about like halfway there so yeah so now I want to go back and show you a few more uh, such examples of breakout candles and whether they would have been rightly identified by our algorithm or by our strategy and whether or not the required price action w is actually needed or you know it is actually works uh, for the strategy to generate the results that it does right so let's just go back on the chart a bit and identify a good breakout candle uh, we can see here on the 10th of Jan 2024, we have actually had a good green breakout candle. Uh, it's green again, first rule, second rule, it's closed above the breakout indicator. And the third rule is that it has, uh, the three previous three candles have closed below their respective breakout levels. So after this, again, our strategy the same way will take in, into consideration uh, four levels, which is the high of the candle, the low of the candle, the closing plus the length and the low minus the length. So again, these four uh, uh, levels are identified, our high, our target, our trigger and our SL. And again, we're waiting for the price action to form. Over here, you can see that we did, we though we did break out and identify a correct breakout candle, we didn't actually go and touch the high level and instead we immediately came and touched our trigger level, which would uh, be not a valid trigger for this uh, specific breakout and in that case our algo or our strategy would not have taken a trade based on this specific breakout 
you know it might have gone up uh, a few days later but this strategy has been back tested for hundreds of stocks for over you, you know thousands of can uh, candles you know so many decades and uh, with that price action or with that back testing we are actually coming to you with the required price action so i'm actually going to now go back uh, again on the chart and i'm going to show you uh, more situations that you know could have been identified as a breakout uh, let's just go now to the 24th of july which is this candle right here over here again you can see we have had a green candle that's closed above the breakout indicator and the previous three candles have closed below their respective breakout levels so once this candle is identified we will again go ahead and plot uh, the four levels which will be the high of the candle the low of the candle the closing plus the length and the low minus the length okay so once you can see i mean as you can see the levels have been plotted but the same thing has actually happened over here where a successful breakout has been identified but uh, we have hit the trigger level first so this is again one such situation which would have not been identified or a trade would have not been taken by our algorithm uh, which is valid right you know stocks always go up when you least expect it but certain rules have to be followed uh, for uh, for consistent results and you know these are well back tested uh, rules that we have implemented into our algo and i think that they should be uh, you know fairly respected so we're going to go back a bit more and you can see we have had a bunch of sideways uh, zone over here and actually going to go where we can find a good breakout uh, there's one over here you can see on the 11th of march 2022 where we've had a green candle again it's closed above the breakout indicator and the previous three candles have closed below their respective breakout lines over here you can see that though this candle did open above it closed below so it takes into account that only and this has been identified as a successful uh, breakout uh, candle so once again uh, the breakout candle has been identified and the levels will be calculated again by the algorithm itself you know none of this has to be done yourself this is just a, a demonstration of what actually goes on uh, sort of in the algo's head so yeah again the levels have been plotted and you can see here that we have gone and touched the high level the very next day and we have waited quite a bit but we did eventually end up touching the trigger level on the 9th of may so here you might what you might may have noticed is that we we did touch the trigger level but in just two candles we came and touched our SA level well the thing is that we've actually programmed our algo in such a way that it waits for a closing below the SL level rather than a you know just touching the SL level to avoid situations exactly like this where uh, the price just dips below and recovers in the same day and you know we end up booking an unnecessary loss so for that reason we wait for a closing below the uh, SL level and you can see in that case in a couple of days we uh, actually break even and we book a profit of the target level in the same day uh, this whole thing happens in about six candles and in this particular situation you can see that we'll book a profit of roughly four uh, percent in just six days which i think is just you know exceptional results to book such high profits in such short uh, time frames right so i'm going to go ahead now uh, and i'll just get rid of these lines and we're going to go back on the chart a little bit more and we're going to identify one more uh, breakout candle and you know and uh, over here you know we did have a couple of breakouts but over here is exactly where our price action does uh, come and save us because we did have a lot of breakouts over here but you know they wouldn't have touched their high levels and then their trigger levels for us to actually trade take a trade and we did uh, end up getting saved from taking a lot of uh, unnecessary stop losses so let's just go back again now and let's go uh here so here you can see on the 7th of december uh again we have had a green candle that has closed above the breakout indicator and the previous three candles have closed below their respective breakout levels so 
Again, I'm going to go and plot the four levels really quick. So we will have the high, low, the closing plus the length and the low minus the length. Okay, so here you can see we have again, um, we have again, you know, identified a right, a successful breakout on 7th of December. And we have gone and in fact, the very next day, we have gone and touched uh, our high level, which is this line right here. After that, the price did move around a bunch, but eventually we did come down and on the 24th of Feb, around two, three months later, we have come and touched our trigger level. And over here, what you can see is we have firstly almost almost perfectly come and touched our trigger level. But what's happened is that the very next day, we have actually ended up uh, booking a take profit, right? This time almost 7% uh, in just one day, which is again crazy because people aim for 7% over the course of many months. And here, you know, your money is just blocked for one day and you're getting these uh, results in just one day. So, uh, you know, that's actually, that's why, you know, the rules have to be followed and the back tests are actually taken. Over here, you can see again, we have a bunch of sideways zone where we would have been saved by our price action because of uh, false breakouts, which our price action helps uh, save us from. But let's just go a uh, little bit uh, back or uh, is there any breakout um, here on the 2nd of August? Uh, and let's just see how this one has, uh, you know, how this, how well this one has done. So again, we will have the high level, the low level. We will have the close plus the length and the low minus the length. Okay, so again, the four levels have been identified here on the 2nd of August and we've had a successful breakout. So after two candles, you can see we have come and touched our high level. And after that, we two candles again, we have come and touched our target level from when we are sitting in a position and waiting for a target. And over here again, almost perfectly come and touch the trigger level. Sorry, third line is the trigger level. So. We've had the breakout, two candles, we've touched the high level. And after two candles, we've come and touched the trigger level. And over here again, you can see how close we've come to the actual trigger level and how again we have managed to book a profit in just a single day, in just a single candle over the weekend. Uh, we have booked a profit of about 5% over here in just one day. Again, some people uh, some people's target over weeks but here your money is blocked for just one day and we are actually achieving these results in one day and over here you can see despite the price being in this sideways zone for many months uh, we have uh, been able to identify a successful breakout and we've also been saved from the wrong breakouts the false breakouts you can see here candles have gone up 13 percent you might see this one day and say that okay i want to actually take a trade on this day I'll, i think it will go higher it's broken out of this range you know but again our price action has saved us uh from taking a big loss over the next few days uh so yeah guys i have uh showed you how the strategy works i've showed you how our algo works i've showed you what it will take into consideration uh, I also showed you how uh, it can not only save us from the bad situations, but also help us generate good and great returns when the right situation actually comes along, right? It's all about uh, being there at the right place at the right time. So, you know, we were, this algo helps us uh, be there and it is an algo. So it's doing everything for you. All of this does not actually be have, uh, does not actually be, have to be done by you. Uh, and you can just let it run in the background and have your money work for you. Uh, so anyways, if you would like to purchase either the breakout indicator or uh, get an algo attached to your account and to your capital, you can contact us on WhatsApp or Telegram where one of our uh, executives will get in touch with you and 
from there you can speak to them and learn how to go through the whole process but anyways uh, apart from that i'm done i've showed you guys how the strategy works and i will see you in the next one